Before we get started with the actual basic skills in this videotape, we have to cover one important topic, and that is called centering. Centering is where the energy, where the force, where the uh, creation of motivation is going to come from in regards to your body. And we're just going to take this piece of tape, and my assistant here, Karen Rohrball, we're going to place the piece of tape at her center position. So we need to find the belly button area and then just about an inch or so for ladies, right below the belly button, we mark that with a piece of tape. For men, if you have men in your uh, ensemble, that position would be a little bit higher because men tend to carry their weight or their center a little bit higher than ladies, probably about an inch above the belly button and around that area. Now, if you've ever seen that drawing of that man, okay, and we have lines coming out from that man, that is called the kinesphere. And that's what we want to think about when we're thinking about centering. If you can imagine all these spokes coming out from around Karen's body, in addition to thinking of a Ferris wheel, okay, we know that the energy or the motivation to make the Ferris wheel go around is in the center of that circle. Same idea here. Think of the Ferris wheel center being here, all of the spokes going out. So what does that have to do with centering? Well, with the kinesphere, that gives the idea to you, the person who's understanding this concept, of where that energy is moving from. Now, in a simple exercise, Karen's just going to take her arms up and then down for us, so we can see her arms exploring the space of the kinesphere around her body. While she's doing this, the energy, the motivation of these arms moving upward is coming from down here at the center position. Now, if we turn Karen to the side, we can see that she is going to do the same exercise and she's going to keep her center in control. You can see a nice straight line she's working with here. Okay? Now let's show you what happens when your center falls forward. Okay? We've all seen this. I even remember back in high school when I used to walk down the hallways because I didn't know what my center was and here I was drifting forward. Okay, so we want to make sure that we tuck that back okay, and control our position. The weight can also fall in the opposite direction. Okay, now look what happens here. It's kind of like our nose is getting to somewhere before our actual body gets there. Okay? So it comes back to controlling the center position. So if Karen can turn front again, and she will demonstrate one more time so you can look at it from the front. Now look how controlled. You can see the energy shooting out of her hands. Nice, strong arms. And Karen can just continue the exercise while we think about how do we get this control. Well, it takes a lot of training in terms of building the abdominal muscles, and we need to take the time to do our crunches, do all of those great ab exercises, you know, the, the videotapes you can buy on television with abs of steel and all those kind of ideas. All of that can be done in your ensemble to build the center position. If that's done, we're going to have our whole ensemble standing taller all the time. We're going to have them standing straight as opposed to drooping forward, and it's going to give your ensemble a totally different look than you've ever had before.